Nation, it's your boy Guapo here and today I'm going to be talking to y'all about some of the hot street brands that are out right now and some that are up and coming. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste y'all time, I'm not going to hold y'all, so let's get into it. This list is not for my favorite or anything like that, it's just out of order, no specific order and I'm not sponsored by any of these brands so don't think that this is just some type of video to like promote them basically. But this is just how I feel in my personal opinion. Remember, this is all personal. If you disagree or if you have any other ways or any other brands that you see, you know, just comment it down below. Let me know. But let's get into it. But to kick things off, I'm going to start off with Supreme. And I know when I say that, a lot of y'all going to be like, oh, he's with the hype and this and that. Nah, it's not even that. It's just I really do like Supreme. When I first got into streetwear, Supreme was the first streetwear brand that I was introduced to. So it's just like... So I've been, I'm Supreme, and if y'all don't know, it's a Supreme bag right there in the back. If y'all can see it, I'll, I'll get a close up on that. But yeah, so Supreme, I really just, I, I like Supreme because, you know, well, Supreme will never be not hot. So let me put that, you know, first. Let me say that first before we get into anything else. But I just like Supreme because it's like, it, it looks cool. It's, it's trendy. Like, they're not doing too much, they're not doing too little. It's just the perfect amount of design and, you know, things like that. So, and the quality is great too. The next one we have a brand called All Timers, which is a New York City brand and it's founded by Rob Harris and Prince Holmes. Yes, I said that right. Prince Holmes. And they have a party vibe going on. Like the way they design their clothes and stuff gives you like a casual party vibe. And I personally like it. Now, I was recently introduced to the brand, the All Timers brand, probably like, I wanna say like four months ago, just shopping online and this and that. And then when I recently went out to LA, I saw them again. So it's just like, I've been hip to it ever since. But this is an up and coming brand. I think it's already established. Like a lot of people know about it, but if you don't, this is gonna be, you know, the next wave It's coming up. So if you are looking for something to hop on before everybody else, get on that. Now the next one we have, which is this brand has been around for forever, literally forever. Well, not forever, but you, you know what I mean, but champion. Now, they recently came back in style. They never went out of style to me, but recently more and more people have been wearing them, and you see champions all over the place now, especially now. They just, they got everything going on for them, but champions has always been, you know, in style for me personally, but they're coming back out now, so that's a brand that y'all need to hop on if y'all don't know about it. For the next spot, we have Awake New York, which was founded by Angelo. I'm not gonna say his last name because I don't wanna slaughter it and mess it up, so we just gonna go with Angelo. It was founded by him. And fun fact, it used to be an exclusive Japanese clothing line, basically. But you know, they took it, brought it to New York, and that's how they started up Awake New York. Now they're known for their simple, clean looks. And I can say personally, just in my personal opinion, remember everything here is personal. So if you don't like it, hey, you know, let me know down below in the comments what you like. But I like the little the little simple design that they have because it goes with a lot. You don't need to do too much, too little, but it's eye-catching. Like, when you see it, you're going to be like, what is that? But, you know, Awake New York, definitely, if you're not on them, go get on them. Last but not least, we have ALD. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to, like I said, slaughter it again, but we just going to go by ALD. And um, basically, they're, they're like the, the luxury the luxury end of streetwear, if that makes sense. And why I say luxury is because of the material that they use. They use top quality material like satin and things like that so you won't really find that in other streetwear brands but they pride themselves on like the material the feel of the of the clothes and stuff like that and also the brand like i say for almost every other brand in this video it's simple and it's it's not too much not too little and it's eye catching so definitely if y'all not on that get on it it's up and coming a lot of these brands that i'm saying in this video are up and coming but get on it and that's that's really gonna do it for the video. Those are my top five. Well, not I wouldn't even say my top five because there are no specific spots, but those are just the five that I wanna let y'all know about right now. If y'all wanna know about more designs, more streetwear, comment down below and I'll make a second video about it. But Guap Nation, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to each and every video. Leave y'all comments down below if y'all know about any of these brands or if y'all have any other brands that y'all wanna introduce and I'll do a video on it. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in. With all that being said, we are out.